Barcelona have a long history of making the most incredible talent in-house through their La Masia Academy. While this has been critical to their success during their golden era from the early 2000s to around 2018, Barcelona have also made some significant transfer acquisitions over the years. Let's take a look at Barcelona's top five most expensive transfers and explore what happened to them. Frankie de Jong. Out of all of Barcelona's high profile transfers, this may be their most successful one. When Frankie de Jong arrived at Barcelona in 2019 for 86 million euros, he came with a massive expectation after a standout season at Ajax. Initially, de Jong struggled to find his footing as he adapted to Barcelona's tactics and playing style. He was often deployed out of position, which limited his ability to control the tempo from his natural deep-lying midfield role. However, over time, de Jong has become increasingly integral to Barcelona's recent success, including their La Liga title win in 2023. He has demonstrated remarkable versatility, thriving in various midfield roles, and even as a makeshift center back, playing the libero role. You don't see that one too often. De Jong's adaptability and growing influence have made him a linchpin in the Catalan club's setup, blending his Ajax roots with a unique, tailored role to Barcelona's demands. Neymar. Neymar's move to Barcelona in 2013 for 88 million euros was one of the most exciting transfers in the world football at the time. The Brazilian superstar, known for his flashy style, dazzling dribbles, and goal-scoring prowess, initially faced some challenges adjusting to the pace and tactical demands of European football. However, by his second season, Neymar truly hit his stride. He formed the famous MSN attacking trio with Lionel Messi and Luis Suarez, and the three players became one of the most feared forces in the world. Neymar's contributions were crucial as Barcelona won a historic treble in the 2014-15 season. Over the next few years, Neymar continued to elevate his game, blending his Brazilian flair with a more refined tactical approach. His performance in big matches, such as the legendary Champions League comeback against PSG, cemented his legacy at the club. Despite ultimately leaving Barcelona for a record-breaking transfer fee to PSG, Neymar's time at Camp Nou remains one of the most electrifying periods in the club's history. While I do think Neymar's prime was at Barcelona, I still think he's super overrated. Antoine Griezmann when Antoine Griezmann joined Barcelona in 2019 for 120 million euros, expectations were high. However, from the start, his journey at the Catalan club was far from a smooth success. Griezmann faced immediate struggles adapting to Barcelona's tactical setup, which was vastly different from the system he had thrived in at Atletico Madrid. Playing alongside Lionel Messi proved challenging, as Griezmann often found himself out of sync with the Argentine superstar. Over time, Griezmann's role was shuffled by multiple managers, but he never truly found his groove. His natural instincts clashed with Barcelona's tactical demands, and his performances were inconsistent, with his goal scoring and playmaking failing to match the club's investment. By the end of his second season, it was clear that the fit wasn't right, and Barcelona ultimately loaned Griezmann back to Atletico Madrid, effectively conceding that the move had not worked out as planned. Ousmane Dembele Ousmane Dembele joined Barcelona in 2017 for 105 million euros plus add-on, totaling 135 million. As one of the world's most promising young talents, tasked with helping to fill the void left by Neymar's departure. However, Dembele's time at the club was plagued by a series of setbacks, primarily due to persistent injury struggles and inconsistency. Immediately, Almost immediately after joining, Dembele suffered a serious hamstring injury that sidelined him for several months. This would become a reoccurring theme throughout his time at Barcelona, with frequent injuries and lengthy layoffs preventing him from gaining rhythm and fully integrating into the team's tactical structure. Even when fit, Dembele faced challenges adapting to Barcelona's disciplined style of play, which demanded more precise decision making and quick link up play than he was accustomed to. Despite flashes of brilliance, his inconsistency and inability to stay healthy ultimately hindered his progress at the club, and eventually left for PSG. Philippe Coutinho When Philippe Coutinho joined Barcelona in January 2018 for a staggering 160 million euros, he became the club's most expensive signing ever. 
the Brazilian playmaker had dazzled at Liverpool with his creativity, long-range shooting, and playmaking flair. However, Coutinho's time at Barcelona would become a case study in unrealized potential and mismatched expectations. Coutinho initially showed promise, but it quickly became clear that he struggled to fit into Barcelona's system. Deployed on the left wing, he found it difficult to influence games in the same way he had at Liverpool, where he had thrived in a more central, free-flowing role. As time went on, Coutinho's form declined and his confidence waned as he tried to adapt to Barcelona's tactical demands. Despite occasional flashes of brilliance, he never managed to perform consistently, leading to frustration among fans and criticism from the media. In 2019, Barcelona loaned Coutinho to Bayern Munich, a move that underscored his struggles in Spain. Ironically, he found form again in Germany, even scoring twice against his parent club in Bayern's famous 8-2 Champions League quarterfinal victory. However, Bayern opted not to make the move permanent, and Coutinho returned to Barcelona, where his performance continued to disappoint. Ultimately, Barcelona loaned him to Aston Villa, marking the end of a tenure that had once held so much promise, but ultimately left both the club and the player wanting. Overall, Barcelona's top five most expensive signings have been a mixed bag of outcomes. While Neymar shone brightly during his time at the club, the likes of Coutinho, Griezmann, and Dembele struggled to consistently adapt and deliver on the high expectations that came with their hefty price tags. Even Frankie de Jong, who is now a vital player for Barcelona, took time to find his role within the club. These transfers highlight the challenge Barcelona has faced in balancing high-profile investments with finding the right tactical fit for each player. A reminder that even world-class talent needs the right environment to truly thrive.